As colonisation started happening around the world, so did debutante balls, creating rules around who is acceptable, who gets to be part of the upper class. So they were kind of just a fancy meat market, to be honest. In 1968, though, there were laws that banned public gatherings of Aboriginal people. So Aboriginal people weren't allowed to have dances. The first Aboriginal debutant ball ever held on that, like it was a winter month in 1968, was actually a civil rights protest. Introducing our debutants from the Shell Ivan District Aboriginal Cultural Centre and Partner. It was taking a tradition, the epitome of colonisation, classism and white supremacy, and basically kind of ruining it. And I think that's kind of incredible. Um, when I was young, our town was a very prejudiced town. We weren't sort of accepted in, in society. But you know, it's been a tremendous experience in my life. I'll never have another experience like this as long as I live. I had the privilege of talking to quite a few of the women who participated in that original 1968 ball. And their memories aren't about meeting the Prime Minister. Eh, no, what their memories are about is about being able to wear a beautiful dress, being able to feel beautiful and being celebrated. You're very, you're very, very white tonight. As white as you oh, could possibly naturally, be. Oh, naturally, yeah, the dress, but not the colour. Is, no, is that so important to be white? Yeah, no, I don't want to be white. I want to stay in my own colour. You know, I'm proud of being Aboriginal. That's one of the interesting things about fashion, is that it's symbolism that we put in our bodies, that we wear throughout society every day. But our reading of it and how other people read it, we don't necessarily always have control over. Being able to put something on that you can feel confident in, or that you can feel beautiful in, or that you feel like is an expression of yourself, is a really, really human, joyous thing. <laughs>